Alright everyone, Cowboy Trades here, welcome back to the channel for a super quick update on Kadena. So, Kadena is breaking down hard right now, down about 6.5% on the day, and it's looking like it's just confirmed its next major move. We're going to talk about the price targets and also what I'm doing with my trade, which is currently exploding in the profit. So, I've actually got to leave for kendo training in 10 minutes, so this is going to be a really fast one. Let's dive right into this. A quick update from my previous video when we were looking at the weekly time frame, what we were highlighting developing in the markets right now was this massive head and shoulders pattern. The neckline is down here at 93 cents, but the price target of the actual head and shoulders is all the way down here at 55 cents. But has this move been confirmed yet? It's pretty much been confirmed. If we're looking at this, you can see the right shoulder is now developing. We did just get double rejected from the bull market support bands. We did just get a rejection on the weekly time frame from that EMA ribbon. And with this major volume, with this major crash that's happening right now on Kadena, with the rest of the altcoin markets, it's looking like this move has now been confirmed. While this is happening, you can see the stochastic RSI on the weekly time frame has not even crossed bearish yet. So by by the time this cross is bearish, you are going to see yourself rocketing down to that 93 cent and then potentially breaking all the way down to the price target at 55 cent. MFI is still around about 52 right now, very overextended, not even at the heart line. This is breaking down. The stochastic RSI has been breaking down since the price action topped out around about $1.42. Even though we're all the way down at $1, you know, a whole like 42% move to the downside, uh, we really haven't moved too much down on the stochastic RSI. This is letting us know we've got tons of room to come down on the stock. We've got tons of room to come down on the MFI, which is going to easily help us break down into new bear market lows at 55 cent. You can also see the squeeze momentum indicator on the weekly time frame trickling down just like all of these oscillators with lots of room to move down we're not even in red yet lower time frames four hour time frame we have been trading in this range if you didn't watch the last video you might be thinking you know this is a weird range to draw from uh while we're looking at the four hour time frame you can see candle body closes candle body closes wicks 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 this is what we're focusing on when we're looking at the four hour what you can see is every time we kind of deviated from this range you had a deviation here huge move down deviation beneath the range huge move up uh, deviation, huge move down, deviation, huge move down, deviation, huge move up, deviation down, deviation. It looks like we're having that big move down right now. In fact, we're right down at these local lows. We just took out the local lows that were in place yesterday on the 18th of April, letting us know that continuation is coming for Kadena. So like I said, I really need to leave for kendo training in the next five minutes. I'm probably going to be late. Uh, so with this, I just wanted to give you a quick update and let you know, you know, what I'm currently thinking about the markets, uh, what I'm currently thinking, of course, the continuation. It's looking like we're confirming this. We will 100% be confirming the breakdown into new lows by the time we do break 93 cents. So really, if we start coming down to about 90 cent, retesting this as resistance and breaking down, it is going to be curtains for KDA. But in the higher time frame, with these rejections, from these major major moving averages it's looking like it's pretty much curtains already for kda so what's happening with our trade like i said we entered this 5x leverage trade if you watch my previous kda video kadena's next move new trade we posted this four days ago we were entering a 5x leverage short right up here at one dollar and 12 cent as you can see we almost beautifully beautifully tagged the top right here we pretty much shorted the exact top. And since this video, we broke down, had a bounce on the four hour EMA ribbon, made an M pattern, and we're now breaking beneath this support. Uh, the daily time frame as well, we're falling beneath the support of the EMA ribbon. So uh, all everything we're seeing right now, EMA ribbons flipping bearish on the one hour time frame, they just crossed bearish. It looks like we've got a bear flag developing. Like I said, really, I'm flying through this, but it's looking like we're getting continuation. Uh, of course, in the immediate short term, I see it's coming down to about 93 cent. And then I think we're going to come down to the price target that I highlighted in the last video at 69 cent. This is the take profit on the trade in correlation to this major, major volume profile down here where there's going to be lots of liquidity to be provided. So on our 5x leverage trade, uh, before we do dive into this, congratulations. If you did manage to get in on this one, if you are currently in in this trade with me, uh, this is about 10.5% down, almost 11% down on a 5x leverage, meaning that we're in over 50% profit, about 52.5% profit, maybe 50% after fees. So this is looking absolutely perfect right now. So 
what am I so what am I going to be doing? We're in 55% profit. Of course, if you know me, I like to make sure that I incorporate a trailing stop loss that I manually move, meaning, you know, we're not going to realize all this profit. We're not going to exit our position. But what we're going to do is we're going to slide this up. We're going to move this to round about here on the four hour time frame. The EMA ribbons are miles and miles and miles beneath this level right here. One dollar and six point five cent. Uh, it's also miles above the daily EMA ribbons. It's miles above the hourly EMA ribbons. Uh, there really should be no reason to revert back up to here unless in the macro time frame we're going to make a higher low and start breaking to the upside, at which point I want to be out of the trade realizing the profit. So this is my new stop loss. Do I think we're going to come up to it? No. Uh, but do I want to realize some of this profit? Yes, I do. This is going to be a 5% move down from when we entered at $1.12, meaning, of course, we're using a 5x leverage. So this is going to be 25% profit we are realizing. That's really all I've got for you today. Like I said, expect more continuation. We're nuking to the downside and it's looking like Kadena has just confirmed this next major move. Sorry for the quick update. Maybe even further quicker updates, but I am now off to training. Also, I'm currently uploading a new Bitcoin and S&P 500 video. So keep your eyes out for that. Uh, that's all I've got for you today, my friends. As always, if you do enjoy my content, let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment. Share the videos with your friends. If you want to further support the channel, click the join button and become a member today. Follow me over on Twitter at 618 underscore cowboy. All of my socials will be attached to my YouTube page. So for today, I'll leave it here. Spinny Boy Cowboy Trades. I'm out. Peace.